Images that are downloaded from the Hubble Legacy Archive are saved as FITS files, which stands for Flexible Image Transport System. Some image processing software, such as Photoshop, cannot work with a FITS file. Therefore, it needs to be converted into a TIFF file. The FITS Liberator was developed specifically for this purpose. A quick Google search of FITS Liberator will bring you to the ESA ESO NASA FITS Liberator 3. This software will allow you to convert from a FITS file into a TIFF file. The download is available here at the first link, and it is available for Windows or Mac. Be sure to read the requirements required for your type of computer. In this case, Windows installation is available here, as well as the user guide. Mac installation is available here below Windows. I highly encourage you to check out the user guide for FITS Liberator, which goes into much greater detail what this software does and how it works. When you are ready to download, click the download button and your software will begin downloading. Once you have your Hubble Legacy Archive images and the FITS Liberator downloaded, open up the FITS Liberator. This is how it is going to open. Choose the image that you would like to first convert, and this is how it will appear. Preview, flip image, white clipping, and black clipping will probably already be selected for your image. White clipping in green and black clipping in blue shows what these images look like where the data is being clipped in the histogram. It is always in linear for the stretch function. And to provide a better and more detailed image, change it to log of x. You are more than welcome to mess around with the different stretch functions. Some bring out fainter details, some don't work as well. The user guide goes into good detail about what the stretch functions do. I usually prefer to use log of x. The histogram has now been stretched more, it is easier to work with, however choose auto scaling in order to bring it to the center. Move the black level all the way to the left where the data ends. Move the right level all the way to the right. The values down here, as well as the exact area where your markers go, is not incredibly important because in imaging processing software like Photoshop, you can then adjust the levels. In this case, most of the clipping has disappeared from the image. The image can now be saved. It can be saved as an 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit per channel image. It is often advised to save it as a 16-bit image, as that is usually the best type of TIFF file to process your image. Save your image wherever you like. In this case, the 550 wavelength filter is what I will use for my green channel, and that is what I will name it. When you are done with that, go ahead and open up the next image that you would like to use. Once again, choosing log of x or any other stretch function. Select auto scaling and move the sliders. Even though this area out here is still blue, that is completely fine. This area inside here is what we are most concerned about, and save the file. Complete the rest of the files that you would like to convert from a FITS to a TIFF image. When you are done with all of them, you are now ready to process your set in whatever image processing software you use.